thought we had a really good half, played a really good second half, and uh, just liked how we came out. Uh, you know, after they closed uh, the gap and, and got it to even at the half, and we uh, defensively, I thought we were really good the first 10 minutes, just uh, were able to, you know, consistently get stops and, uh, you know, played played solid basketball on the offensive end. We had good balance on the offensive end. Our, uh, our shooting numbers were strong again tonight, so I'm uh, happy about that. The only negative really was uh, we were a little bit loose with the basketball. It's kind of uncharacteristic of our team. We just were usually a very low turnover team. We had too many uh, tonight, but outside of that, very happy with our performance. You said earlier in the week that um, some players are going to have to make sacrifices as far as not being in the starting lineup. Miller and Utah, uh, Neil tonight. How gratifying is it to see those players really answer the call from the back? Yeah, I mean, Jemiah is one of our best players, and, and he's, uh, he, he, you know, he had a great attitude about it, knowing that. You know that's what like a winning player will do. Uh, if if uh, an ace when I when I did it with him, he had a really nasty streak about him going into Utah. So I, I'm not sure who it'll be on 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 Saturday, but uh, I'll have a couple of days to decide that. But it's uh, you know that's that's just how we have to go about it. And and uh, and those both of those guys handled it very well. Not sure how internally the guys w would would talk about that, but uh, you know, I, I think I was able to communicate to Jemiah that like possibly once you go in the game, you, you're most likely never coming out again in the half. So to to play maybe with that type of freedom to know that he could go out there and play basketball and not have to look over his shoulder about whether he was coming back out of the game or not. That's just kind of what I said to him, and and it was going to be very similar with, with Adam. We we were not quick to the ball at their place. They they were getting to the to the fifty fifties. They were getting long rebounds. They uh, they hurt us on the glass for sure at their place. And we uh, we talked about that this week coming into the game. And uh, I think it's again we're shooting great. We had you know we had thirty uh, made field goals in, in tonight's game. So when you again what I was saying the last time making shots like that, it's uh, it gives you a better chance to hang in on the backboard. Uh, Coach Kimbrough did a great job of just you know putting together a defensive game plan you know for him. Uh, we wanted to kind of string out a lot of his uh, his zoom actions, dribble handoffs, and and uh, whenever he was a ball screen, either either hedge him or or in some cases switch. Wanted to make him uh, try and finish at the basket, and not uh, size us up for, uh, for for jump shots off the dribble. I, uh, you know, we just talked about stepping it up, uh, stepping up our level of play. Um, you know, we we, uh, we started out I think 15 to six, and then we, you know, we stopped guarding at the level that we needed to, uh, you know, through some of the stretches of the first half. So just getting back to defending, and uh, I thought we responded well the first several minutes of the second half. Coach, when you have Frankie, Jemiah, Adam, Jose all scoring 14 points in the game, how do you feel that? It's just you know if we're able to to score as many points as we did tonight, I think that puts us in in, in a comfortable range to have a chance, a really good chance to win. And uh, so if if we can score like we did at Utah and tonight, then you know I think the way we're we're able to get stops and effort we give on the defensive end that we that we would have a chance to win. I, he's uh, very good on defense. I mean, the, he uh, he had the steal late that you know he he got a deflection right in front of our bench, and he was the only guy pressing at that point, and immediately dove on the floor and got it and went and finished. Those are the type of effort plays that we need. And uh, you know, he's off the offensive end. He he seems to be in a very good rhythm. He's uh, you know he's getting uh, drives to the basket where he could finish, and then and then he's also you know shooting the three uh, better lately. I mean, there's there's no guarantees. Uh, you you gotta you know feel good about you know how how you're playing right now. But this is a, an enormous uh, challenge in front of us on on Saturday against a team that that rarely 
you know, loses on their home floor and uh, is a, you know, a number one seed right now in the NCAA tournament. So it's, uh, you know, we have our work cut out for us on, on Saturday, that's for sure. How important was it to string together a couple of wins going into that game just from a confidence standpoint? I mean, it helps. I mean, I was very nervous about tonight's game because, uh, you know, there's a tendency to, to, to overlook your opponent, even though, you know, they beat us pretty soundly on their home court. It's just, you know, this is the, the Arizona game week and guys are thinking maybe past this game. So I'm happy that, you know, we were able to deliver, you know, a good performance in, in the uh, in the second half, we got to play better in both halves. When you're playing teams like Arizona, though, you can't afford to. Uh, we can't. We'd have to cut our turnovers probably in half. You know, from 15 to like single digits. To, you know, we can't allow a team like that to uh, get live ball turnovers and get out in the open court with that crowd and their, you know, their talent. You know, at the offensive end of the floor. Just, you know, we're better. We usually generally take care of the ball. We, we have to, you know, do a better job of valuing the ball. And, the, you know, at halftime we discussed that because we usually are the team that uh, that creates the turnovers. Um, and, and in the first half, you know, Adam stole the ball late in the half, and that was our only, you know, uh, forced turnover. You know, they had one turnover at halftime. We had nine, so we you know, have to do a better job with that. With the back-to-back -back wins with averaging 82 points per game, what do you like about the, the group's offensive process right now? Um, that, that we're uh, getting good balance, and uh, there's uh, it's not just one guy. It's it's been multiple guys in both games. Uh, it's been Jose, it's been Jemiah, Adam, Frankie, um, and then you know, we get a couple of these other guys going. You know, Sean and Brian and and Zoe. I think Kamari. We got you know enough you know firepower if, if we're playing to the level that we're capable. No one, I mean, obviously mentioned. Maya coming off the bench tonight, out on the other night, but with who you're able to play now and guys getting healthier, how much do you feel, I mean, especially tonight in the second half, but just in general, how it helps you on the defense in that? Uh, it does. It takes some pressure off the guards and when you have Sean in there. Sean had a really good stretch in the second half where he got a bunch of rebounds and uh, he's a presence around the basket. We had a couple of lobs to him, so he just uh, gives us a different look that we don't have if he's not out on the floor. A couple more. You mentioned that maybe. I'm sure it certainly helps. It puts bigger bodies on the floor. It, uh, physically, you know, we match up a little more traditional to our opponent, and uh, you know, we have good rebounders at the guard positions. And so now, with with uh, Sean and Bryant, their ability to rebound it helps in, in that regard. Coach, how great Jemiah was coming off the bench? Is that something you think will remain? No, Jemiah's gonna uh, Jemiah's gonna start on uh, on Saturday for sure, and I'll decide in the next 48 hours who, who's next man up for uh, coming off the bench. Coach, you're talking about Jeremiah's effort. Do you think effort is something you coach or is it really just guy to guy? I mean, you could try and instill the, the proper habits and encourage your players to do it, but a lot of it is, is based on, on your makeup and your will and your uh, determination to do it. Jeremiah's got great physical tools, uh, very athletic. Uh, Frankie is... is in the same mold, very instinctive, very, very gifted athletically. Uh, so uh, at those two positions, those guys. And, and then Adam plays with just like a real toughness, like how he guards and, and his intentions. So it's nice when you have a perimeter like that, you know, where they want to get after it defensively.